Gemini, welcome. This is Catherine with Oracle Intuitions, and this is your weekly reading for July 16th to the 23rd. We're going to be taking a look into the energy of the mind, body, and spirit, as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. Please remember that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone, but I do suggest you check out your videos, uh, or the videos on my channel throughout the week, and take a look for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Also remember that uh, time in the spirit realm is irrelevant, so these may be upcoming energies, current energies, or a validation of some sort of past energy. And if you are looking for a personal reading, you can contact me at Oracle Intuitions, or through my uh, email page or through my email at oracle intuitions 1111 at gmail.com or through my Facebook or Instagram at oracle intuitions and on Wednesdays join us live where we do uh, free mini readings uh, these are going to be for our subscribers all right and also on Sundays at 2 o'clock p.m. where we bring on different spiritual guests so both of these shows are live they are mountain time and we hope to see you then all right so let's take a look and see what's coming through for gemini this week if you hear um you know kind of a fan sound in the back it's really hot here in my province right now so i have to have a fan going because we do not have air conditioning this is really unusual for us so i do apologize if it uh i hope it doesn't interfere with the volume but you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's take a look. Gemini, let's see what's coming in. For the mind, we have the Three of Summer. So this is all about celebration. This is the Three of Cups, and it does talk about you have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as an engagement, wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. So it, it does feel that maybe perhaps you're either getting into a mind space of ready to celebrate, you're feeling good about yourself. Now remember that these could be upcoming energy. So it feels like maybe perhaps, you know, some sort of challenge that you've, you've been working on, or maybe perhaps you're just getting into this place of feeling confident within yourself. You're ready to go out and celebrate with the world. You know, here's the interesting thing. Now that the world is sort of opening up a bit too, maybe, you know, you're, you're able to go out, you're able to be with friends and family again. So this could have a relation to that, but within the body or external energies, we have the King of winter. So this is the King of swords energy. And it says at this time, it's very important that you communicate clearly, be objective and unemotional and act as professionally as possible. If you need advice, seek out the most experienced expert you can find. When that King of Winter comes in, um, this, this card really is in a place of, he's very strategic, he's very diplomatic. So for some of you, this could be that external circumstances at this point, or maybe there's some sort of situation. Uh, you need to take a diplomatic point of view or a diplomatic approach to it. Maybe for some of you, it's strategic, like building a bit. I don't know what the heck that was. Something just exploded. Okay, sorry about that. I hope you didn't. That didn't affect anything. Um, <laughs> let's just take that as a sign. <laughs> All right. For those Geminis, I don't know if you guys heard that, but there was a big bang uh, just a second ago. Anyway, um, so basically what it's talking about is being diplomatic, being strategic. You might have to look at a situation a little bit more unemotionally and go into the mind as opposed to just following the emotions. But I feel by doing this, it's going to be giving you a, ca uh, a reason to celebrate a cause to you know have some sort of elation in regards to a situation or a circumstance it almost feels as though like i feel this build up of excitement it's like i've been putting this um it, it, it's this energy i've been putting this work towards my business my relationships whatever it is but i'm ready to take a step back now and i'm ready to celebrate the rewards that this has brought in or for some of you this is recommending that in order to receive that celebration it's almost as though you're being very strategic in your movement but you know that that strategic you know that strategy is going to bring you some sort of a reward so within spirit we have the princess of spring coming through and it says creative opportunities yeah that you find passion that but you feel passionate about 
are fluttering your way. Personal growth and a broadened horizons will spark fresh and original ideas. So for some of you, maybe this is the beginning of something. And again, it might be a relationship. It could be career. Just take it as it resonates with you. But what I'm getting here is that you know, maybe you're you're starting a new business. Maybe you're starting some sort of new project. You know what I'm getting here is it feels like to keep it in your mind and maybe not um, completely spread it out to the world yet. It doesn't mean to not share your work or to share your art or to share your business. But what I'm getting here is to keep possibly the strategy to yourself so let's say you have this great business idea that you know is springing forth or that spirit has given you because this is a message from spirit so maybe some sort of um new development has you know come to you from from spirit in some way because spirit is always giving us messages and i feel like spirit is saying just keep it to yourself at this moment there's going to be a reason to be able to celebrate it and completely share it now what that difference is is it doesn't mean again don't share your art or don't share your business but don't give people every idea about what it is that you're trying to develop so let's say you're building a, a business let's say you're you know self-employed or maybe you're um you know going for a promotion within the company don't share your strategic ideas i feel like keeping them to yourself is going to be important because this in itself by by being in this you know manner is going to help that promotion or it's going to help whatever it is to grow um it, it doesn't mean particularly that people are going to steal your ideas but i do feel that strategy and keeping it within yourself is going to be important so let's get some clarification and see what's coming through and I feel like whatever it is, is starting to make you excited. It's starting to build up this sense of passion towards it. Now, let's say it's a relationship, okay? Um, what I'm getting here is whether this is a new relationship. Let's say it's a, a new relationship that's coming in. I feel like be excited about the relationship. Be in this place of accepting the relationship but you don't need to share everything about the relationship with either others or even perhaps this new person that's coming in. It's basically saying, you know, don't go jumping the gun. Don't go, you know, revealing, hey, how much I like you and, you know, you're the best thing that's ever walked on earth. That kind of energy is coming through. It's like kind of keep it to yourself. Let things play out. Let people present who they are is what I'm really getting. Or let people present to you, you know, some sort of new possible strategy that might be coming through. Or maybe some, you know, let, let them present who they are, especially within a, with, within a relationship. Let them show you who they are. You can be excited about the relationship, but it, you know, just kind of be cautious at this point or don't be in this place of, again, revealing all of your emotions at this point, okay? And if it's a current relationship, it could possibly be talking about you and your partner working toward something here. But again, maybe possibly keep it to yourselves, like just between the two of you, rather than sharing it with everybody in the world at this moment, okay? It's giving you a reason to celebrate, it's making you very happy, but for whatever reason, I, I just feel like this King of Winters, is, is, it's a more shut down energy, keeping it internal at this time. So clarification that's coming in. We have the elephant. It says, open yourself to true abundance. Yeah, see this three of summer. So be in this place of excitement, be in this place of passion towards whatever it is. Maybe for some of you, you know, you're having a baby. Maybe for some of you, you're, you're deepening your relationship. Maybe for some of you, you know, again, it might have something to do with a, mater a material abundance, but it's just saying, you know, just still be strategic towards it. Be a little bit diplomatic, you know, externally to the outside world. Internally, you can be happy and jumping around and, you know, doing a dance of joy, but internal or externally, just lower lower the vibration a little bit, okay? We also have the hyena, dare to be different. So I do feel that for some of you, this could have to do with a different, maybe this is, has to do with a different strategy, all right? Maybe before you used to share everything, 
maybe before you used to you know spread the joy or and it, it doesn't mean like should not share your happiness i just feel that for some reason keeping something inside at this moment is going to be important maybe it's just for a day or two maybe you just need to be in this place of comfort with either a particular person a particular group you know it, it, it again maybe it's like a promotion that you, you know you're going towards but you don't want to share your strategy towards receiving this promotion with all your co-workers or maybe you already know that you got the promotion but it's not something to go stand out in the middle of the office and saying you you know and because there, there could be something behind the scenes that you're not aware of at this time i'm also getting here the panda so this talks about stay balanced in your essence yeah stay balanced in your essence know when to exude joy externally and also know what to keep inside all right i don't know exactly why i'm i'm getting this i mean this is going to relay differently for all of you for whatever you know and how whatever realm it's it's falling in but i do feel that at this moment that diplomacy and strategic behavior is going to benefit you okay just sort of watch everything that's going on at this moment again have the excitement towards it internally follow the passion and the messages that are coming through to you at this time but you know have an air of i guess have an air of caution at this moment so let's take a look at relationships and see what's coming through so relationships for a gemini I mean, it could just simply be that, you know, that, let's just use a promotion as an example. Maybe there's somebody in your office, you know, that, um, that this could hurt. Or maybe you spreading the fact that you already have a promotion is, you know, it could jeopardize the promotion in, in some way. Maybe, you know, the boss has expected you to be a little bit more quiet about it or whatever it is you, only you are going to know how this relates to you in your particular life so let's look at relationships relationships for gemini well first of all we have the devil take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit i do feel that this has to do something with that king of swords energy okay when that devil comes in this can be um either internal or outward some sort of obsession addiction some sort of negative type of possible behavior now it doesn't mean that it's bad or or that it's you know detrimental or something like that although for instance let's just say the bosses did say hey don't share this promotion with anyone and you went out and spread it that could be detrimental do you see what i'm saying so whatever this is whatever is happening in relationships they don't need to be romantic they can be friends family and co-workers but let's put this into a romantic term so when this devil is coming in maybe it's saying you know just don't it, you know if there's somebody new or maybe again a current relationship of some sort i feel like even though you might be happy on the inside you might be sharing the joy with your partner or you know possibly even this new person just kind of keep some things in inward at this time all right we have the plane a journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically your life will become more full I feel like by following this advice, by again, you know, this st st strategy, diplomacy, all of that is going to be part of this journey, okay? It's going to bring you some sort of abundance that's coming in, but whatever it is that you're dealing with at this moment. Now, for some of you, I'm actually hearing this. I'm going to pull another card because I want to see what it has to do with it talks about birth universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility now it doesn't need to be birth you know it doesn't maybe for some of you you are having a baby or becoming a grandparent or whatever it is or maybe your friends and family are you know celebrating a birth of some sort uh but this could be the birth of a new idea it could be the birth of a new relationship it could be the birth of a deepening of a commitment in some way but if we turn this into a romantic type of situation where that devil is coming in along with that king of swords, um, let's say you're having a fight with your partner. Okay, and again, I'm just, I'm just throwing out an example here. Let's say you were having a fight with your partner 
And even though inside you might be in this place of, I feel like I'm winning or I feel like, you know, this is going to turn positive for me or this is bringing me into a happy place. If you're telling everybody um, about this fight or maybe for some of you there's gossip involved or maybe there's some sort of energy here that you know couldn't it, it may on appearance wise on the outside if you're talking about it or if you're spreading it in some way it could you know create a negative effect and that's kind of what I'm feeling so again keep the happiness on the inside at this time okay it doesn't mean that you won't be able to open up it doesn't mean that you can't talk about it at a later date but I feel whatever this situation is it's going to be important to um, uh, keep it within. All right. So let's get some clarification and see what's coming through. Maybe perhaps you met somebody or you're about to meet somebody and you want to tell the world about how wonderful this person is. But Spirit's saying not yet. Okay. Not yet. Doesn't mean you can't tell maybe your best friend or something like that. But it's not one of those things that you want to get onto Facebook, you know, and post a status and be all like, hey, you know, I just met the best person in the entire world. That could be detrimental. Do you see what I'm saying? So, again, take it as it resonates. All right. We have the Ten of Summer. Beautiful, beautiful energy. It's time to express your love and appreciation for family. It could it be relatives or chosen family of all close friends. Congratulations may be in order for a happy, fulfilling marriage, as well as resting, uh, as raising happy, balanced children. So again, we have this birth card. Maybe for some of you, there's a deepening of a relationship in some way, or a relationship that is going to be a <clears throat> more committed relationship that is coming towards you. All right. So it could be in the past that you could have been dealing with some sort of obsessive or addictive behavior, or again, maybe it's just that you got a little bit too excited about a relationship before it had a chance to fully develop, and that was detrimental towards the development of the relationship, all right? So with this 10 of summer coming through, I feel like spirit is saying, there's this opportunity that's coming towards you in some way that is going to allow you know, this relationship or some sort of relationship to have that 10 of summer energy, this 10 of cups energy. When the 10 of cups comes through, this is about completion. I mean, for some, you know, this could represent a house with a little white picket fence and two dogs and, you know, 3.4 ch children. Do you see, whatever your happiness is going to be for you, maybe perhaps it has to do with career. So it's completion and being in that happy energy, knowing that you've developed this business or that you've, you know, opened, um, some, or you, let, let's say you opened a store, you know, and it, it's getting to that place where, hey, it's starting to get busy. I can celebrate. I feel the abundance coming in or again, the promotion, whatever it is. All right. But this is that completion of that happiness, being in that happy place. But there needs to be a strategy in here. We also have the justice card. So the elephant, fair decisions will be made after all the evidence is re reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of a disagreement. So this could have something to do with as to why we're getting that diplomacy and, you know, that strategy, right? As well as the devil card. When the justice comes through, what the, th the, the main thing we have to remember about justice is justice doesn't care if somebody let's say you've had an argument with somebody and somebody's been you know doing really nasty things to you so you decide to seek revenge and do it back justice doesn't care about what the person has done to you because it's not your karma to play out it's not your place to uh evoke justice do you see it's the universe's job so this is what is being taken a look at right now. And that's why I feel that strategy and diplomacy, that behavior of just taking a step back and not reacting emotionally in some situation is going to help create a better situation. It's going to rebirth. Maybe there is a renewal within a relationship because of this energy. And we have the magician. 
There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. Now, the interesting thing about ma the magician, especially within traditional tarot, okay, you have all the tools in your toolbox. This is what the magician talks about. You have all the tools there. It's how you behave, how, what you do with all of those tools that is going to make the difference moving forward, all right? We can play unfairly or unjustly. That's our decision to make. But is it going to further or better a situation? And that some, might be something that you need to take a look at. And that's why with that King of Swords coming through, I do feel that there needs to be this impartial look at something, okay? And this does talk about being impartial, and, and but still having compassion towards the situation, all right? So this is what's coming through with relationships. Guys, I really feel like there is this chance of renewal, this chance of a rebirth within something, whether it's a new relationship or a current relationship, you know, or again, friends, family, coworkers, however it resonates with you. It might even be within yourself, that relationship with yourself. Take it as it applies to your situation. But I really feel like these messages are being um, pretty clear. You know, again, be impartial. Take a step back if you need to. Look at the situation with an open mind, okay? Now, let's get a closing message from the universe and see what's coming through. Closing message for Gemini. Closing message for Gemini, July 16th to the 23rd. We have the tiger and it talks about will. It's all about free will, right? <coughs> Sorry, I had a cough. Uh, it's all about, it's really smoky here too because we've got forest fires all around us. So um, it, it, this is about free will. What is your free will? You have the free will to do what it is that you want to do. You can take the advice that the tarot is giving you at this time that's coming through in the messages, all right? You don't have to follow it if you don't want to do that. However, remember that at this time, this could, you know, be some sort of, you know, situation that could either be mo made or broken by your actions. And I feel like it, it's really important right now to have that balance within yourself. Do I feel like I should, you know, share this? Should I hold back on this? I feel like following your intuition is going to be highly important at this time. I'm also really getting that following the internal guidance that's coming towards you is going to help with the situation. So if you look at something, if somebody's coming towards you and you feel like you should share, you know, or well, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe you should, but really look inside of yourself first and, and have that, am I just sharing? What am I sharing this for? Am I sharing this to um, share the joy in some way? Or I'm sharing this because I'm trying to create an imbalance. Am I trying to brag? Am I trying to brag about my promotion? Am I trying to brag about my business? Am I being unstrategic in my movements at this time? And I feel like this is really what it's talking about. So Gemini, I truly hope that this reading has helped. Have an amazing week. See you next time. Many blessings.